the example of the image they gave us is a really tight, just really tight over that intersection. Yeah. So I'm thinking 45. So the image here that we're trying to replicate. So obviously this is this is just a mock-up, but the intersection right here is what we want to give to them a similar look and feel. So in terms of cinematography, lenses, 12mm first. Start with the 12 And yeah. a 4K as well, we'll yeah. have room to crop in. Filming in ProRes today, we're using the DJI Cine SSD, 240 gigs. These are like $300 a pop, <laughs> and we've only got what, like 10 minutes of footage. But the client wants as high quality as possible, so we're gonna film 4K ProRes. So after the shoot, we'll put it straight on a USB stick and give it to the client, and then we'll be done. Paul, do you want to take a foot of gear? Yeah, sure. Well, <laughs> this Pelly case. Pelly's cases are great. They go everywhere, bomb resistant, the military use them, and so do drone operators. We use this for a lot of our camera equipment, BTS stuff, tripods, monopods, batteries, monitors. This one here is the Pelican Air 1615. Um, links in the description. Aaron, get a link for Pelly cases in the description. <laughs> in winter, batteries need to reach a certain temperature, otherwise you risk damaging um, internal cells. They should be fine now, I think the temperature's Just before we go up to shoot, I always like to do a bit of a test flight. Just fly it up to a couple of meters, let it hover, make sure everything's working well. And then we'll just bring it straight back down. And then when the client comes or we're ready to roll, then we'll be ready to roll. <laughs> Listening to our iCom at the moment, um, it's the device that we use to listen to all air traffic. We don't really need to do any broadcasting, we just need to monitor the frequency. So there's a lot of heli, um, helicopter movement areas, as you know, there's hospitals around the area. As you can hear, there's an ambulance going on. So this is just for monitoring airspace. We're not going to go above 50 metres um, AGL. Safety is paramount in an operation like this. So my name's Tim, today I'm the safety officer. I'm on comms with Paul, the operations manager, and I'm looking, up, looking out for pedestrians, traffic, making sure that the public um, aren't interfering with the operation. A lot of people yeah, around high traffic areas, they, have, they see the drone up, they ask a lot of questions, so that's where I come into play, and I just tell them what's going on, but also making sure that they're not going to, uh, I guess, injure themselves. This is not actually, um, the prettiest way of doing it. Thanks to the Melbourne weather, we've had to uh, we've had to ground our drones, as you can see. Uh, we're just going to wait for a little bit for the rain to pass over. We've had quite a few really interesting uh, lighting conditions today. It's been on and off, really bright, very cloudy, and now a bit of rain. So welcome to Melbourne. Finished our shoot. It was a success. The client was happy. I first thought the 12 mil would work really well, but it wasn't wide enough. She wanted to get more of the streets coming in. So we swapped out to the 7.5 Lau, which is a wide angle, full manual lens, and she was happy with that. Let us know if there's anything uh, you want to see more of, if you like these types of videos that are on the job um, sort of processes, uh, or tutorials, or if there's anything you want to see more of or less of, like Aaron. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> <laughs> That's really, really neat. <laughs> <laughs>